New developments here at 6 in the story WHS 11 News has been investigating for months. Wildlife in Need founder Tim Stark went in front of a judge this morning after the Indiana Attorney General accused him of being in contempt of court. Stark is undergoing legal battles from several different agencies. Focus investigator Shay McAllister brings us the latest. Two weeks ago, the USDA revoked Tim Stark's animal exhibitor's license, making it illegal for him to show his animals to the public. But last weekend, Stark ignored court orders and opened his doors. That was part of the case against him today. This video is from February, before COVID-19 and virtual court hearings. But it shows Tim Stark in an Indianapolis courtroom for the first appearance in this case. During this hearing, he was instructed to follow strict orders from the court. Now, the Indiana Attorney General's office says he failed to follow those orders and is in contempt of court. All of this is part of the state's plan to shut him down for good. In court Friday, the state argued Stark violated multiple court orders, including bringing new animals to the property without alerting them and having the public on the property for shows. Stark and his attorney said they were within their right to have those shows because they didn't make any money off of it. The issue is one of many in the state's case against wildlife in need. So far, hundreds of documents have been entered into court as evidence, and there are multiple accusations on both sides. Now, the judge is asking for summaries from both parties to, quote, sharpen the issues, and ultimately he will be the one to decide what happens next at Wildlife in Need. The judge said he expects to have some sort of decision in the case two weeks from now. For Focus, I'm Shay McAllister.